today another unboxing this came from Aliexpress it's another MN models as you seen on the thumbnail let's crack it open okay let's see what what we got here standard controller steering trim throttle rate lights pretty basic very similar to the MN82 one mirrors the lettering inside markers a sheet of stickers wipers side mirrors and some side vents probably instructions how to put them USB charger and this card so let's now let's take it out of the box and see what we got here well this is bigger than I thought it would be and it's got some weight I really like this body. The last ones, the MN82 and this, the MN168, easily, easily, by the looks, one of the best um, cheap RC crawlers. When I first saw these wheels, I thought that I wouldn't like them but in person they aren't so bad as in the pictures or videos so let's see what we got here so it has openable doors with a nice feel it has opening hood the same battery as on the MN99S RTR 1.9 inches wheels they look better in person than in pictures let's undo them portal axles we're going to have a look if they have uh, metal gears hydraulic shocks as it seems metal frame chassis that's good Servo mounted on the axles. That's cool too. Awesome. As you've seen, it has metal gears in the portal. In the portals, they come lubricated. Nice touch. This is cool. With bearings inside and out. No, it's the same bearing. Sorry. Let's put it together. It comes with a 12 mm X to secure the wheels. Being honest, I would prefer that this came with um, 5 mm X because or 7, but 5 it would be cool that uh, I could use my other tires here. Let's then do the tires or the wheels in this case. I think they have foam inserts but they are very soft these tires are very soft very squeegee let's see if i can crack this open they are beadlocks yes and they have soft foam inserts they are three part wheels the outside the inside and a center ring with nice and soft foam inserts this, this is cool let's 
put it back together so now let's take off the body to see what is got underneath To take off the body we only have to take off these four bolts or four screws whatever you want to call it and I believe okay it, it came out so we have a 280 size motor ASC close to the WPL1 that's the first time I see here on the on this MNs this receiver. It looks cool. Let's see how it works. So this has all link are in plastics. The drive shafts shafts also. The turning buckles are metal. Let's see if I can show you better these diffs uh, they don't they don't have a cover in order to to we see the inside we have to disassemble it and pull this out let's see if we can if we can do it without disassemble it too much and voila yes it has metal gears This is awesome. Metal gears right here. Okay. The important bits are metal. I was forgetting. This says brass bearings here. I don't know if I can show you guys, but here it has brass bearings. One of each side, each side. And this looks pretty beefy. So we have here these frame rails are metal. If we wanted to make uh, another position for the shock absorbers, that will be possible. Just moving this backwards. Here, if we want, we could move this up. Now that I've assembled all the small accessories. I will wait it to see how much it weights more than a kilo it's my guess I'm really liking it this car looks awesome now let's put the battery 1 kilo 123 grams that's a plus. This car feels solid, residual. It had blinkers. It has top lights. Blinkers also. And it seems to have a drag brake. This is an high rate. Let's put low rate. The same. Now let's test the modulation. I don't know if this is too much. Let's see. This is the low rate okay it seems to be a very good modulation let's try again okay this is in low rate. This is cool. Some nice articulation stock, but this is a big car. Keep that in mind.
let's try now irate well then I'm really impressed this modulation seems even better than the one in MN82 <laughs> so let's see how this works on the trails see you there so we're here at my favorite trail this is the challenge one but I going, uh, I'm not going to make it all the way I'm just going to make a small run one or two minutes just to see if this is a proper a proper trail truck or some what crawler Low rate for the throttle, it struggles a bit. And I'm hearing some grinding. Maybe the gears aren't quite so good. Nice flex, it can perform a good scale driving out of the box. At this point the metal rear gears were torn apart. I've ordered another one, so in the next video I will rebuild the transmission and do some rock crawling and trail for fun. Hope to see you next time, feel free to subscribe, like and share, and that's all for today, bye!